Hello, I am Tavish Cardiff with an impromptu video for our raw material. It is listening week, and I just got done with a really cool energy session. The windows are open so you can hear a little bit of traffic outside. It's raining, so the rain is coming through, and I have the house to myself, so it was quiet, it was dark, and I just thought this was a really good space for uh, meditating with listening. So I sat for a while and did that, and I thought, I'm going to get up and go make a little video and encourage people to take some quiet time for themselves. The universe is actually providing it for me right at this moment. And I'm coming out of this very peaceful, connected space. So I just wanted to share. Quan is doing the videos for this session, so I've missed everyone. But I am busy working on a program, listening to my own intuition and figuring out what would be the best things to put in an our raw material program. So that will be coming to you soon. Be listening for that. Mostly, I just really wanted to touch base and say thank you to those of us, those of you that are um, continuing to work through these pillars, step into the arena and be a part of co-creating and manifesting um, your own life. So listening week is the turning point or the halfway point. We move from all of the kind of personal stuff into relating to others. Listening is kind of the first one where we start to interact with other people and start to uh, take in things that are different than, than just our beliefs and what we know. And as we stated, you know, the ideal play playground is one of the best places to take your creative ideas and inspiration and anything that you want to happen or to take fears or anything like that, you know, listen to what things bother you. Listen to what things make you happy. Listen to what matters to you because that raw material is more powerful than anything you can imagine. And I'm 55 years old. There was a time in my life where I really didn't think I had much passion or purpose. It was pretty easy for me to go along with what anybody else wanted because I didn't have a strong opinion one way or the other. And the older I get and the more I want to promote our raw material as something that is um, accessible and available for everybody, I find myself listening from inside. I find myself checking in with my soul and my ego and trying to find out, is this an ego-based thing that I'm trying to push just because I want to gain? Or you know, am I attached to the more collective, benevolent space that I want to be connected to where I don't just want this for myself and my own gain. I really want it for all of us as a whole so that we begin to remember how connected we are and we all get to be an active and aware part of co-creating and manifesting what we want. I'm going to go back and do another meditation on listening and you know, open up those windows, listen to the rain, listen to the sound of traffic. I can even hear a highway if I'm quiet and, you know, just maybe even make a list of all of the different sounds I hear while I'm paying attention to traffic in nature. It's getting to be probably that time of day where rush hour is hitting. So I'll have quite a bit of traffic noise to deal with, but also combining it with the sounds of nature and with the just rumblings in my own head, the positive things that are happening in my life. And then of course the you know, grief and trauma that's still kind of following me around from my dad and a couple other losses um, that have me just sitting and listening and appreciating what my soul has to bring to the table. Because otherwise, a lot of this stuff doesn't make any sense. Oh, one more aside, Supreme Court's meeting today and uh, this week. So eager to check in and hear what they have to say, because I think from a listening standpoint, this really gives us a sense of what the last several years have brought us. Do we have a Supreme Court that's heavy one way or, you know, the way that they're going to interpret the law? Is it going to be dramatically different from what we've seen before? Or, you know, are we going to see um, the law actually work for us in the way that it's supposed to? I'm curious, open and interested. Um, and that's out in place of whatever fearful thoughts come first. So if you're interested in what's going on with SCOTUS, uh, I'll be listening closely for that. 
But outside of that, I'm just going to listen to what the environment has to offer me today. I've got the rest of the day to myself. I'm going to get quiet and I'm going to listen to what goes on and hopefully write a little meditation out of it. Just wanted to check in with all of our practitioners and say thanks for being here. And I look forward to seeing you weekly during the summer session. Back to Quan, And don't forget, you can always check us out at ourrawmaterial.com. And I think Jen's supposed to be getting some stuff up on Instagram. We've got some blogs and definitely videos for you to watch.